Welcome to the Data Cloud video series brought to you by Salesforce. My name is Simon Connock. I'm a Data Cloud instructor here at Salesforce. In this video, you'll use tools available in Data Cloud UI to inspect and validate ingested and modeled data. Let's first take a look at the Data Explorer. Now, with Data Explorer, you can validate data lake objects, data model objects, calculated insights if you have them, to ensure the accuracy of your data and any formulas that you created. Let's first validate how the source data for contacts is ingested in Data Cloud. Data Cloud stores all the data from data sources in DLOs, in data lake objects. To view the source data, go to the Data Explorer tab, select the data space. It will just be default for us. Select the data lake object under Objects. Here we will select Contact. Click Edit Columns on the right of the screen. To select the fields for which you want to validate the data, you can select up to 10 columns to be displayed on the screen at any one time. Let's select Contact ID, Birth Date, Email, External ID, Identification Name, Mobile Phone, RAVG Loyalty ID, RAVG Loyalty Points Balance, and party identification type. Let's validate your data. Look at the birth date data. Notice it has the date and time. Now select the data model object. Under Objects, you select Individual. You will see the results of any objects you mapped to Individual. Once again, click Edit Columns to select the fields for which you want to validate the data. Select the following columns to be displayed. Birth date, created date, data source, external record ID, first name, individual ID, internal organization, last modified date, and finally, last name. Click on the arrow next to any of the columns in the header row to arrange the results in ascending or descending order as you see fit. Review which data sources are mapped to individual. Click on the filter lists on the top of the screen. Click on Add Filter. You can add a filter to your data to show or exclude values. Select the filter icon to add a filter. You can use these operators when building the filter logic. Filter results by any of the fields. Here we will filter by first name. Click Done. Click Apply and review the results. Now let's go to the Developer Console to review your ingested and modeled data. You will see the SOQL, S-O-Q-L, on the screen. Click Copy. Go to Setup. Click Developer Console. Click Query Editor tab at the bottom of the page there. Paste in your query. Click Execute and review the results. Now, let's explore the graph view for your data model. Select the Data Model tab. This is going to show you the tabular view, which is the default in here. Switch to the graph view. Notice that rental is an orphan object, that little blob on the screen you see there, all by itself. Let's create new relationships between rental and individual. Select the rental object in the graph. Just click on it. Notice that it takes you to the rental DMO. Note that if the page is slow to load, as it sometimes is, just refresh your browser window. Select the Relationships tab. Select New, and then click on New Relationship. We want to add a new relationship for this DMO. The field is Customer. The cardinality is N to 1, many to 1. The Related Object, choose Individual. Related Field, Choose Individual ID. Select Save and Close. Now, if you go back to the Data Model tab and again switch to the graph view, you can check that the rental object is now connected to the individual object. It is no longer an orphan. By inspecting and validating ingested and model data in the Data Cloud, you now have a reliable and trustworthy data set that you can help generate insights, make predictions, drive business decisions. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos. 
You can also search for topics and Salesforce help, or come join us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.